From grocery store to garbage dump, there is a global glut of plastic bags. A hundred billion are discarded each year in the U.S. alone. Just 13 percent are recycled. The rest linger on lawns and in landfills for centuries. Plastic waste can take hundreds of years to degrade. Vila's poll wants to end all that. The scientist at Argonne National Laboratory has found a way to turn bags into batteries. There are many benefits. You get rid of plastic totally, and at the same time you make a value-added products. In the past, scientists were unable to mix different kinds of plastic. Pohl found a way around that. He cuts up the bags, stuffs them into a metal tube, adds a catalyst, and heats it to 700 degrees Celsius. In just three hours, he has a fine black powder, tiny bits of carbon. This kind of carbon sells for $150 a gram, more than gold. In a few minutes, he can convert it into this watch battery. All the green technology in the world doesn't do much good unless people use it. For that, it has to be made inexpensively. That is what scientists at the Argonne National Laboratory are working on. The more energy that you can pack within the battery, the cheaper the battery pack is. So we try to reduce the, the cost of a battery pack by putting in more energy, or by storing more energy within the battery itself. Here at the Argonne Lab, the U.S. government plans to invest as much as $120 million to create smaller, more powerful batteries for everything from phones to electric cars. The technology behind the battery for the Chevy Volt was developed here. It's a global environment, so the technologies that are commercialized in the U.S. can be made available to countries like India and Bangladesh almost immediately. The lab's goal? Extending battery life from 2 to 5 years to 10 to 15 years within this decade. Because the battery is the engine of the electric car and a big part of the cost, that would cut prices and pollution levels around the world. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Argonne, Illinois.